natural resources, um, governance and management, and really facilitating other stakeholders, civil society organizations, resource users, and so on to actually be part of natural resource management and governance. Which legislation are allowed to include nationally and internationally? Okay, so I would say definitely the environmental legislation that is for the purpose of the Environmental Management Act, um, also the National Climate Change Policy, which is very relevant to yeah. today. The Canary being a Caribbean um, civil society organization and working in the Caribbean islands. Um, all legislation um, that is relevant to climate change is important to us. What so Canary's work is focused on environment-based SDGs. Uh, so climate action SDG 13, SDG 14, like the water. Off the top of my head, I can think of three in particular. There is the National Climate Change Policy, which is draft. There is the National Environmental Policy. And more importantly, there's the carbon reduction strategy, or the strategy for reduction of carbon emissions in Trinidad and Tobago, which outlines strategies at reducing carbon emissions within three key sectors, namely the petrochemical sector, the industrial sector, and the transportation sector. Okay. And is there any international laws that may affect Trinidad? Well, affecting Trinidad and Tobago, granted that we are a party to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the one that automatically comes to mind is the Paris Agreement, as you would have heard of, which we are a party to, but which we have ratified, as you would know. Okay. Uh, the Sustainable Development Goals. So, with respect to climate change in particular, we can look at SDG number seven, Clean and Affordable Energy, which looks at renewable energy and energy efficiency strategies, which we will discuss further. There is um, SDG 13, which is climate action, as you would know, deals directly with climate change. We can also look at tying into that SDGs um, 14 and 15, which is life below water and life on land, which tends to look at the effects of climate change, what, the, what type of effects climate change would have with life on land, be it biodiversity as well as life below water as well, okay. as the fisheries and these sort of sectors.